Our final uh, speaker for this evening, last but not least, is Eileen van der Fleer uh, Keller, and she's bringing us a presentation titled Beyond the Ivory Tower, Empowering Our Students to Communicate Their Science to a Public Audience. Eileen is an Earth Sciences teaching professor at SFU and a special advisor on public education. She's passionate about science communication, empowering teachers, and engaging students in inquiry-based, hands-on, societal, societally relevant science. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you, Joy. So science impacts, whoops. Science impacts everything about our lives. Urban planning, sustainable resources, getting comfortable with our changing world, our health, as you've heard, climate change. And it also brings us the incredible wonder and beauty of new scientific discoveries. I don't know how many of you have seen the pictures of the black hole, incredible. So in an era of disinformation and fake news, uh, it's really important that we hear from scientists. So before I uh, talk about the course that we've developed for our science students, I just wanna tell you a story. Um, as a young beginning academic, uh, a long time ago, a long time ago, um, I wrote a book for kids, an activity book for kids, and I wanted to have a nice recommendation on the back. So I talked to Dave Garrison, who, uh, he's the publisher of Yes Mag, it's Canada's science magazine for kids, and he wrote me one and it was very nice. And then a little while later, he got in touch and he said, would you like to do a weekly segment on my radio show about science? And you know that awful feeling you get in your stomach when you think, oh, oh I'm terrified. Anyway, I thought to myself, I don't have the skills and I didn't have the confidence and I said no. And that's one of the biggest regrets of my academic career that I missed that opportunity. So, I'm really passionate about engaging our students in science communication so that they're not just wonderful scientists, but that they also communicate their science because otherwise society is really missing out. So um, with the support of the Dean of Science and in collaboration with some fabulous science communicators from the community, people like Jennifer Gardy, who used to be at UBC, and you may have seen her on CBC on The Nature of Things, and people like Elizabeth Ellie at SFU and Isabel Cote. We co-developed this course for students across the sciences, environmental science, computer science, uh, science, and we offered it for the first time in spring 2018. It's in its second iteration. I've got a heap of marking on my desk. Um, so what we're doing in the course is we're engaging our students with expert uh, science communicators from the community. And you'll see there uh, Johanna Wagstaff with our group of students from last year. She works for CBC. We work with Science World and we use a lot of experts or we work with a lot of experts, including some people here um, from SFU to engage our students. So they learn, uh, I was talking with somebody earlier about the difference between communicating between scientists and communicating to the public. It's exactly the opposite. So we identify that. We talk about science communication as a dialogue and not as a deficit that you're passing information that people need. Uh, they learn about presentation skills. They learn about writing. They learn about doing science. They get media training. They learn about infographics and visuals, and does it work? So the, what we found out so far is that it really increases their confidence in communicating science with different audiences, which is really great. They really like the networking and mentorship. Several of the students from last year have gone on to be in the science communication business, which is kind of cool. And right as we speak, one of the students in this year's version, uh, Jesse Mishorak, who is a master student in geotechnical earth science. He does, thank you, he does uh, mixed reality, virtual reality, uh, to understand landslides in the Himalayas. And he's there right now giving a technical presentation 
But because of this course, he told me, he's also going to engage the community there and he's going to talk with the local community around the landslide area that he's working on, on measures that they can take to monitor the mountain slope and also how they can have low cost mitigation. And I think that's a pretty good start. Thank you.